I would like to thank Cliff for uh, pointing this out on Messenger. Thank you, Cliff. I'm sicker now. Thank God I got medication because I'm sure this would make my tummy hurt. It makes me mad. And I think getting angry makes my tummy hurt too. Oh dear. That's For bad. some who have... We'll just make the ad go away. So, a veterinarian, a veteran and a former Paralympic, which, you know, Prince William and Chuckles, you know, support, apparently, were offered, instead of having a ram, made assisted suicide. She's been trying to get a wheelchair ramp installed at her home for the past five years. Testified on Thursday that a caseworker told her that they could give her assisted dine, even offered to supply the maid equipment for her. Mm, so you can kill yourself. Yeah. I was completely shocked and in despair. Hey, lady, I'm in despair. My whole neighborhood qualifies for euthanization. Everyone out my window qualifies for euthanization. But hell, they're euthanizing themselves outside my window. How do you think I feel? I've seen so many dead bodies. I, I think it's around 70 since just the pandemic. I'm sick. It's because I didn't lose my conscience. This stuff should make you sick. If you have psychopathy, you'll have no problem with this. So let's see if, if, if we got this. Here we are. Let's start it over again. If she wanted an assisted death, here's CTV's Atlantic Bureau Chief, Chris Anashkate. Retired Corporal Christine Gauthier testified the department that is supposed to help her instead offered her a medically assisted death. And the person at back mentioned at that point, well, you know that we can assist you with uh, assisted dying now if you'd like. And I was just shocked because it was like, are you serious? Like, that easy, you're going to be helping me to die, but you won't help me to live. The Prime Minister said he will ensure that Veterans Affairs does not offer medically assisted death to veterans again. This is absolutely is unacceptable. Uh, and as soon as we heard uh, about this, uh, we took action. A former member of the Canadian military and a five-time world champion Paralympian, Gautier suffered permanent damage to her knees and spine during a training exercise in 1989. Okay, we're, we're just going to put that on there. It, this isn't the first person that I've heard ask for help. Another guy had just post-traumatic stress, which I live with. I have complex post-traumatic stress, you know? What do I take for it? Cannabis. Sure in the hell don't trust the doctor's pharmaceutical shit. I can tell when people are on psychiatric drugs by their body shape. Because that's how much damage I find that it can do. <laughs> so, I'm only laughing because they tried to get me on one of these pills that that make you gain like 50 or 200 pounds in a few months, well, six months, on a lot of people. I'm laughing because what I told the doctor, if you made me fucking fat, I would come back and fucking sit on you until you were dead. 